Hey, Paul here, and today I'm in Bodega Bay, California. And I'm going to show you a lot of neat little things about Bodega Bay, California. Uh, it's raining today, so that'll add a little atmosphere to the things I show you. And I just want to, on a side note, mention that the pandemic is still going on, but we got a vaccine. So that's very, very good news. And hopefully a year from now, this is all going to be behind us. So anyway, follow me and let's check out Bodega Bay. So here's the famous schoolhouse scene from the birds. It's actually called the Potter School. It says uh, Sheriff Samuel Potter donated this land for a public school in 1872. And then Hitchcock used it for the birds in 1962. So, pretty cool. And then there's a church over there. It was also featured in the movie. And there's the church. And the few birds I see flying around, they're not trying to attack me yet. But they might be later. And this is kind of the angle that Hitchcock used when the kids were running out of the school away from the birds. So you can kind of hear the birds and see them. And they're not quite in the attack mode yet. Maybe later. There's one coming up for me now. Well, here's the church. It is featured in the Hitchcock Birds movie. Beautiful church. Look at the stained glass. Catholic church. Let's see when it was made. Uh, looks like it was built in 1862. So it's got quite the history. And it's a really uh, good looking church. I love the old stained glass. kind of rainy here today as you can tell and as I'm walking behind you can you can actually see the school house is in the birds and then there's a gravestone here uh, November 24th 1961 Eleanor Orr Wife of John Orr, age 32, two months and nine days. Hmm, this seems awful young. Wonder how she passed away. And they got this cool little um, bench and bird bath. <laughs> kind of appropriate to have a bird bath. Uh, right in the same area where the movie The Birds is filmed, don't you think? A little rainy today, but not bad. And we got more of these uh, really cool stained glass. I don't know if they're original or not, but if they are, it's pretty neat. And the doors of the church are pretty awesome too.
they still have a phone booth up. And if you saw the movie The Birds, this is a Attack of the Birds phone booth. <laughs> she needs to have a little blood and birds on her. Kind of cool though. It's looking. I like how he has a mask on now. He's ready. Hitchcock's here. These are 225 each. Right, yeah. These are really good. Usually I get seven bucks a piece for these, but I do. Yeah, for these too. Watch out for the birds. Well, this is a cool little town. Look, they got a little surf shop here. And I was just in an antique store. And look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a rainbow. Just arcing over the church. And there's a little store here. I had it going to, but again, this is not actual Bodega Bay, it's outside of it. Wow, look at the church now with the sun and the rainbow behind it. It's pretty awesome, the light hitting it. All right, we're gonna go check out Bodega Bay. All right, we're at a place called Lucas Wharf. Look at all the crab, crabbing, 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 crabbing. And there's another bird, hasn't attacked me yet. Got low tide. But look at the scenery in this area. And these guys, I think over there, I don't know if you can see them over there. But I think they're digging for clams. I'm in crab season. I'm not even sure what's going on with crab season right now. Sorry. Wow, look at this. It's like a whale bone. Look how big that thing is. Pretty cool, huh? As far as you can see, crab nets, cages. Oh. 
certainly beautiful out here. Look at that, Charlie Brown. Look at Charlie Brown. Please keep off Charlie Brown. Look this boy. And these guys here, because of COVID, they say valuables have been removed. You're on a video. Alarm equals pops. At this time, we've decided to temporarily close our doors. We value our employees, our guest health as our number one priority when we made this decision. Yeah, this pandemic is really took a toll on people, I'll tell you, and businesses. Mm. Soup smells good, clam chowder. I'm gonna go to a different location for clam chowder. This place has it. They're all really good, but the place I'm going has been voted um, one of the best. You got the order ready for Brenda? Brenda, we should be ready. Okay. So here we are at the uh, restaurant, The Tides and it is famous for being in the birds um, movie it's totally different now because we're talking oof, over what 57 years ago check this out there's a jail of <laughs> a whale not a jail a whale jawbone Brought on the Santeria by fisherman Duck Dominic. Dominic is from the lower right side of, of a fin whale, great blue whale. This whale is approximately 70 feet long, weighed 50 to 60 tons. Wow. Pretty wild. So check this out. This is a shark jaw. And this is a picture of a great white. That's crazy, huh? No thanks. I'll go somewhere else. Look at all the birds. And this is Neptune. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sounds like they're playing the birds. <laughs> you must get tired of hearing that. <laughs>
I'm just walking through the lobby of this restaurant and they got all sorts of posters, crabs from all over the world. We have pictures here of crab boats taking, catching crabs. We got pictures here on the wall, crabs. Oh wow, a turtle shell. Look at that sea turtle shell up there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a big. And then more crabs on the wall. Got some neat stuff to look at in here. The Tides restaurant. Look at bird. Snow birds. Pretty cool. And posters and diary. It's a tie. And we have the bird from months. Oh. Containers. Pretty cool. Stickers. Chains. Schoolhouse. Couple more whale bones here. These things are crazy. Huge. Got this old anchor. Old rusty anchor, and that says it's over there. I can't go back there, but it says it's a whaling pot. Well, here we are at Spud Point, crabbing. I'm gonna go get some cram chowder. And these guys have been voted like the best clam chowder year after year after year. So let's go check it out. And because of COVID, there is no seating. Unfortunately. Here we are. This is the fishing part of Bodega Bay. I just got my chowder. But I wanted to just film this because, man, the sun, the way it's hitting, the clouds, and the, uh, it's really uh, quite stunning, to be honest. And then this little sign I'm standing in front of shows you about salmon trolling and how it's done. Kind of interesting. Now they have a stabilizer and then fishing lines and a float line. They got all it's very complicated. A lot more complicated than I would have ever thought. Um, just about five minutes ago there was this really cool rainbow. But I missed it. But this is the fishing harbor part of Bodega Bay. As you can see all the fishing boats. And then uh, Spud Point, where I just got clam chowder. Right next to that is another uh, really uh, good clam chowder place called the Fisherman's Grotto. And their uh, funny thing is they're in direct competition with each other. And uh, when I come out here, I eat it either or. They're both amazing. Um, and they have this big clam chowder um, co competition. I believe it's in April. 
I'm not positive about that, but you guys can look it up. But anyway, they have this big competition, and then these two, like, they usually win first and second, and they go back and forth, but I believe Spud Point is the all-time winner of first place. So if you guys out there are in the Bay Area, and you are clam chowder lovers, you need to come out here. It is worth the trip. Um, keep in mind, however, just to let you guys know, they do not hold, stay open late. Um, I'm here on a Sunday, and I just asked the lady at the counter, and she says they close at 5 o'clock. And I believe that's their normal hours, so that's the deal there. I like all the names of these boats. Anna Marie, Deborah Marie. So. <clears throat> Pretty quiet out here for a Sunday, but a lot of us do with the rain. When you come out here in the summer, there's like motorcycle guys everywhere. There's a lot of action. Warning, don't disturb marine mammals. And there's a bird, he's not attacking me yet. He might come swoop down any minute. I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. Oh, I think it's a, one of the, a crane. Another seagull. All right, I'm gonna go um, eat my clam chowder, and I'll probably film so you guys can see how good it is. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna have some clam chowder in my car because of COVID-19. So they give you these little crackers, oyster crackers. And uh, this is the cup. And one thing I've learned about chowder is it is hot and stays hot a long time. So, oh, I also got a loaf of bread. And some butter. Licking my lips already. <laughs> and they, they sell this huge, look at the size of this bread. Sonoma County uh, extra salad bowl. I don't need that much bread. But I bought it, I can take it home for later. Oh, let me show you this little chowder. I'm sure you're interested. Got to get a spoon, not a knife. I'll give you the chowder view. So this is it. And I'm not going to have you watch me eat the whole thing, but I'll let you uh, take a few bites. Mm. Wow. It's really good. Really good. I mean, wow. Um, the only chowder I had up until having fresh chowder was the stuff you buy in the store, and there is no comparison. I don't care if it's Progresso or some other can. It just doesn't compare to this. It is 
really good. But I wanted to thank you guys for coming along with me and checking out Bodega Bay. If you like the videos, um, please subscribe. And I will be doing a lot more of these over the next, um, uh, well, for, for, forever. So um, I know a lot about the Bay Area. I've been here a long time. I'm going to show you a lot about the Bay Area and beyond. So thanks for coming with me today. And I hope I um, was entertaining for you. So again, subscribe if you like the video. Hit the little uh, bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.